Hello everybody, you guys saw me in this exact same position not very long ago, about two months ago. I unboxed my Cricut Explore Air 2 on camera in this exact same spot, in this exact same way. And since then, some of you who have watched my videos will know that it has been a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Um, one day my Cricut would seem to work and the next day it wouldn't and then even after countless calibrations I could not get it to reliably work for me. I have wasted so much sticker paper, so much ink, years of my life probably. <laughs> And um, it's gotten to the point where so many people have recommended a silhouette to me that I made the decision to buy a silhouette. Now, I was in a very lucky position because I purchased my Cricut in Canada from Costco and the Costco, through my, my parents' membership, the Costco return policy is really, really good. And I recommend anybody who's looking at a cutting machine to buy it through Costco if they can, just because both Cricut and Silhouette, they do not allow you to return the product after it's been opened. Now, I find this a little bit odd on both companies' end. I don't know the reasoning for it, but for me personally, especially with something as finicky as cutting machines seem to be, I would feel a lot better if I knew that there was a problem, I could return it. So you can do that with Costco. So I am going to be returning my old Cricut and I bought this machine for a really good deal at Costco in Canada. This machine on Silhouette's website is over $400 Canadian, I believe. And for whatever reason, it was $2.99 on Costco. This is the same price that I bought my Cricut Explore Air for. And from what I understand, this Silhouette Cameo 4 is very similar to the Cricut Maker, which is a much more expensive machine. So I got a great deal on it. And yeah, I'm basically just swapping out my Cricut for this machine now. So without further ado, let us open this baby and check it out. Here she is all unboxed. I can honestly say she is significantly bigger than the Cricut Explore Air. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to fit on my trolley. Guess we'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> nice little light show. Hi, it's me. Please excuse the mess. Um, I'm gonna do a little test cut um, to see how this goes. I printed, where did I put it? Oh, here. A quick version of my Molly stickers. Um, I'm gonna put it through this thing. How did I get my mat so dirty already? Love that. Um, I'm gonna put it through. Also, something to note, I got this lamp. I found it on Amazon. It's just a, like a reading light because I have heard that a lot of people have problems with their silhouettes reading registration marks in the dark. So my room is pitch black because it's almost six o'clock and uh, I do not have good lighting ever in my room. So I figured I would just help my little candle out by getting it a light. So let's just try this and see how it goes. That went pretty well. First cut, and I would say that's pretty much perfect. So we're off to a good start, knock on wood. <laughs> Jane, why are you staring at the 
everybody happy tuesday i just realized that i haven't actually sat down and talked yet in this vlog last week i didn't make a vlog i was not really feeling up to filming i just was too busy and too stressed out and so it didn't end up happening unfortunately but that's okay we're back we have more footage um <laughs> so basically yesterday was monday and i did a lot of restocking which was good because i was out of a lot of things i hadn't really stocked up pretty much anything i don't know why i think in my mind i was just like oh i should only make like four of things because like they're not gonna sell and things have been selling so i need to actually stock things up so that i'm not having to constantly make new things i guess i don't know i guess i was just worried about having like excess stock and i don't know but I was being silly so I actually spent some time stocking up a bunch of stuff which was good but also bad at the same time. I, I've been using my silhouette and um, I had some big problems with it over pretty much all the times that I've tried to use it so far. Yeah so I don't know what that was about because it's now working but there there were some, some tears shed. I will say that there were some tears shed. <laughs> It was just cutting, I'll put a picture, but it was just cutting so off for no reason. And my roommate Ivy, she helped me out and it seems to be working now, fingers crossed. But yeah, just wanted to say, hi, it's me, I'm here. It's another studio vlog. <laughs> I'll touch base with you guys later. everybody it is voiceover Krista um, I decided to not film myself talking during this part just because I was feeling a little emotional that day and I think it was probably a good thing because I literally cried opening every single one of these so <laughs> I, I felt like a voiceover would be a little easier but basically I got all of these different letters and I wanted to open them on camera for you guys. So this first one was from Quinisaris because I was an honorable mention in her 100k Instagram draw this in your style so she sent me a bunch of goodies which were so freaking gorgeous. I literally have one, I have the print up on my wall right now and I have, I'm planning special spots for all the stickers because like they were absolutely gorgeous. And then the second one is from Ariel also known as Slushy Fund on Instagram. And oh my gosh, I ordered this from her. I ordered a bunch of stickers from her, but she put in a whole bunch of extras and everything was just so beautifully wrapped and so freaking cute. I just, uh. <laughs> and the little note she left me was so perfect too. So thank you so much, Ariel. I literally am in love with everything. Look at all these stickers. I'm, I'm getting emotional just watching this back to be honest. But yeah, the beautiful quality. I'm in love with them all. I'm still, I still need to find places for all these stickers, I swear. I never want to stick them anywhere because that's like such a commitment, but yeah. Anyway, we're moving on to my package from our adorable. Look how cute that envelope was. Um, I ordered some sticker sheets from her and look at this packaging. Honestly, her packaging was a huge inspiration for my own packaging, to be honest. Like, look how beautiful this is. Her little thank you card so cute. I have it pegged up on my um, board in front of me actually because I literally could never get rid of that. It's so cute. Look at all these stickers and the sticker sheets that I got. And then she also gave me a print which I also have on my wall. Uh, I'm blown away. So cute. So perfect. Um, and now I am opening an art trade that I did with Jane Draws. Um, I was super excited to do this with her and she left me the most adorable note as well which I also have on my board um, and she actually did a wax seal how crazy is that she did a, a, a full-on wax seal also I appreciate her Halloween packaging it's very festive um, but yeah I had no idea what was gonna be in this in this bundle Basically, I responded to one of her Instagram stories asking if any mutuals wanted to do an art trade and uh, and yeah, she responded and she wanted to do one and we decided to make it a surprise. So I had no idea what I was going to get and I'm just so in love with these prints. Her style is absolutely beautiful. 
the colors are just so vibrant and everything is just so cute. And yeah, that concludes my little art haul. Hi everybody, it's me. I'm filming from my bed. This has become one of my favorite filming spots lately and I'm not really sure why. So basically, I haven't touched face with the camera in a while. My silhouette is still not working properly. <laughs> um, I have very little confidence in making stickers at this point. I have lost so much sticker paper and I've used so much ink. I've gotten it to a point where it's working pretty much fine, but the bottom stickers that I cut are always off, like at the bottom of the page. But I have something really exciting to show you guys in my next vlog because basically what happened was, and I feel like a little weird talking about this because I'll just, I'll just tell you. But basically what happened was my Cricut was not working and I knew that I was going to need something else and I had orders that needed to go out but I could not make my product because my Cricut was not working so I ended up buying this silhouette but around the same time Silhouette offered to send me a portrait machine so that has arrived I have a portrait machine from Silhouette which is insane to me so <laughs> I am gonna unbox that in my next video and I feel ridiculous unboxing so many machines in such a short amount of time. Like, you guys probably think I'm just like made of money, but I promise I'm not. I got one for free. I got one for a really good deal and exchanged my other one for, yeah, that's what happened. Anyway, so I'm gonna be unboxing that next week and I'm really hoping that I can get that machine working because I've talked to so many people about this silhouette and I've tried every fix online. Can I get it to work? It really feels like a cricket rerun at this point. And my roommate bought a silhouette as well and she's not had these problems. So I don't know what's going on. I'm feeling very discouraged. But anyway, another thing too is there has been another tragedy in my family. And this, these past couple months, like this year, <laughs> has been really hard and I don't want to like come on here and like make you guys sad because I feel like I want this vlog to be a, a place where people can like just come and relax and be happy but also at the same time I do want to like be real with you guys and with myself because that's why I'm making these vlogs so yeah this year has been hard and these past couple weeks have been hard and today has been exceptionally hard but on a happier note, I would like to show you guys what I was able to make with my silhouette machine. So I turned my Forest Treasures print into a little mini sticker sheet. And I, I kind of love it. Like, look how tiny it is. It's just a cute little sticker sheet. Some of them are like slightly off, but so slightly that I'm going to let it slide. Because I honestly don't think anybody but me would notice it. And then... I'm really excited to show you guys these ones too. So this, I don't think I've showed you at all, but I finished my Patreon wallpaper. I had been working on it throughout this vlog and I finished it. I'll put a picture of it right here. This is what it looks like. Doo, 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 doo. I'm very happy with it. I kept telling myself I was gonna go more simple this month. It didn't happen again. I seem to be incapable of making simple wallpapers. <laughs> but I turned it into a sticker sheet for my patrons. So here is another little mini sticker sheet. And then I also have this little bear sticker and this little feeling cozy sticker. These are the little packs, or this is the little bundle that my happy mail patrons will be getting at the end of this month slash the beginning of next. Basically the deadline is the end of November, the very last day of November to 
to join but then I will be shipping it out like the first week of December. And at this point I don't think my Patreon goodie packages are going to be exclusive so these also will probably be in my shop but they were made with the help of my patrons and with my patrons in mind and yeah so I wanted to end the vlog by showing you guys what I've been working on. I wish I could have filmed more of the behind the scenes but mostly it was just me freaking out because my machine was not cutting and uh, yeah but anyway thank you guys so much for tuning in for another vlog. I I'm very grateful that you're here and I will see you guys maybe next week. I might be going back home to be with my family for a little while and I don't know if I will film there but yeah if I do I'll see you guys then. If not I'll see you guys when I'm back. You're the best and if you haven't already like and subscribe leave me a comment I read them all I have been having trouble responding to them lately just because I've been getting a lot of DMs and comments and everything and uh, so if I'm a little bit slow please bear with me but I do read every single one so thank you guys so much I love you Mwah. goodbye <laughs>